So the divorce rumors just get more crazier and crazier by the day with everything going on with this fake edited picture. Hey guys, it's Morali Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Please do subscribe. It's just one click. And let's get into a lot of different conversations that are, we need to have simultaneously. So we need to use our brains here because a lot is going on with the royal family. So as this picture was edited, it's been confirmed. Apparently Kate was on, on, you know, up, up late at night, you know, on canvas editing pictures on Photoshop, living her best life, um, things are getting quite dark in regards to these divorce rumors that are taking place. Because whilst this was admitted to be a fake picture and the picture came out yesterday, all of this frenzy in the last 24 hours, a major article in the UK called The Independent, which I'm sure many of you guys know, have commissioned a story that I find to be very interesting. Why have they commissioned a story in regards to the life and facts of Lady Rose Hanbury, who is a marchioness of, I can't even pronounce that name, Cholomondele, I'm saying it completely wrong, but who is this lady? And you know, they're planting it in a lifestyle column and via independent, obviously giving us factual information about who she is, you know, how many children she has, why are they introducing this woman to us the same time it's been announced that Kate admitted to faking this picture and I was apologizing or whatever. The same time, guys, that Kate Middleton was thrown under the bus by William and the Palace, it's also been commissioned by a major publication in the UK introducing us to Rose Hanbury. They are playing in our faces. Either this is an introduction to who she is for the wider public because Kate is being pushed out or that the press knows some stuff and are dangling it in our faces and are, you know, commissioning the story on purpose. But this story was commissioned for a reason. And I would like to know what that reason is because Kate, in the same breath, is being pushed under the rug. We know that this is what William does because when it came to Harry, he did speak out and say that things were signed for him when it comes to public statements without his permission. I do believe that Kate had no knowledge this picture was coming out. And I feel like there was no knowledge that Kate had, you know, was put up the statement about Kate and Photoshop. It's not her, it's somebody saying this for her. So this is exactly what is taking place here. And I feel like somebody is feeding the these publications information. This being commissioned is not a coincidence. It's basically the gist of what I'm saying. It's not a coincidence. Also today on GB News, some people in the publication realm who are know of Prince William are also stating that they believe a divorce is coming. And this is what is happening here. Kate Middleton has worked for this live her entire life. Her mother has put her into the right circles for her to become the next queen to be, only for her to be ushered out in this way and other people pot potentially could be reintroduced, such as Rose Hanbury, where this alleged affair took place five years ago in 2019. So it's very sad this is happening to Kate, but I don't have any empathy for her because she's never really had any empathy for Meghan Markle, to be quite frank and honest. That's Prince William right now on the motorbike driving 100 miles an hour to pick up Rose Hanbury and wave goodbye to Kate Middleton because it's exactly what's happening. It's happened to our, in, our, in our front of our faces in real time. This frenzy that Kensington Palace have put up, they're panicking because I don't think Kate had anything to do with this picture, anything to do with this being released or anything to do with the statement of, you know, my bad, I'm editing stuff. This was all the Palace and William's plan and it backfired on them and therefore they're deciding to put this pressure out there. I believe a divorce is looming. We've seen this over, you know, the last couple of days. Even, you know, her uncle had said that if it is announced, which is what obviously I think is being referred to, a divorce is looming. And I think Kate does not want this divorce. I think William wants this divorce more than anybody. And of course, you know, the house of cards is falling. The house of cards is falling. The royal family is crumbling. It was only two days ago in the morning it was reported that there was a car crash at Buckingham Palace, a car had crashed into the palace. This has never happened before. What kind of person gets into a car and runs into Buckingham Palace and crashes? It doesn't make any sense. In the early hours of the morning and the police had to intervene because they obviously are guarding the palace. That story has been swallowed up. Don't see much people reporting on that since everything with this Kate frenzy. But I think that to me is alarming that there was a huge car crash who was trying to get into the palace and why. It could be a random pedestrian or it could be somebody who had a important link to Kate. Who knows at this point? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just so shocked at all of the stuff that is going on in the past 
24 to 48 hours. I think William is playing a dangerous game here, a game that he knows much skill of because he's seen his father do it with Diana when ushering in Camilla. And I think that history is repeating itself. And I think that Kate never assumed herself to be the victim in this scenario. She thought it would have been Megan because everybody was hating more on her and she was riding off that coattail. But Megan and Harry got out, thank the Lord, and are to protect themselves somewhere else away from this disastrous monarchy. And this led the sharks to feed on Kate, which she did not really prepare for, because this is what is going on here. And I think that it's Kate and her mother against the royal family. And I think something there's like a subtle divide that is going on here. And the fact that there was a state, I don't think people realize how wild it is that a statement was released today stating that Kate is apologizing because she was editing pictures. That is not true. They are lying to our faces once again, thinking that we are going to believe any of this nonsense. A divorce is looming. Kate is being thrown under the bus by William and by the palace and she's trying to fight back and it's just not working. That's just basically what I see it. And I think the Spanish press have been validated completely in what they have been saying over the past month and a half in regards to her surgery, in regards to her health, in regards to the fake stories, because here they are posting fake pictures. History is repeating itself. They literally said they've posted a fake story about Kate Middleton on a half-term holiday. That's now been repeated with this picture from TMZ and then this picture from the palace which are all fake because no way she could lose all that face weight from everything in TMZ to the recent picture. They are playing in our faces and they think that we can believe any of this. I wouldn't be surprised if Kate was somewhere in hospital still unresponsive in a coma whilst this was all going on. I wouldn't be surprised. It's an absolute shit show. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. This affair coming out of nowhere once again and resurfacing, especially by a major article, because there was no need for... Nobody was asking who was Rose Hanbury. Nobody was asking that question. We know that she is linked to this alleged affair with William and Kate. The major publication today that released that story on who is Rose Hanbury know exactly who she is and how she's related to Kate and William. And with everything going on with Kate and William, to my opinion, it is not a coincidence that they had commissioned this story. They know and they are adding credence to that alleged affair and that it took place and that for some reason it looks like Rose could be ushered in and Kate is being ushered out because we have still yet to see this woman since December we have not seen her. A video of this woman would be something that I would be sufficed with, but everything else they're providing is amalgamated and edited and then retracted and then fake apologies from fake statements from people who are not even writing them. What is like, let's just, I need to just breathe for a minute because none of this is making any sense. Guys, what is going on? What is going on? Subscribe, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.